Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And the timing is fluid, okay? You could say this is for the next seven days, but you know, the timing is fluid, and there's a, there's a time for everything, right? So uh, this is something about timing because I really wanted to mention that to you, that it's time, it's time for something, you know, it's time. Now it's time, it's time. It's like you had to wait, right? You had to wait for something and it's been a long time, but now it's time. So I'm not sure what this time is, but, uh, <clears throat> well, you know what time is, but you know, it's time. So it's, it's time, it's time for something. So what do we have for Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, whatever. You know, how. if you want to watch this reading, you can watch any reading you want. And if it resonates with you, then so be it. Okay? So what do we have for a message today for Aquarius? Your soulmate is not who you think it is. Let's get one more. Oh, there it is. <laughs> jackpot flipped right over in my hand. Jackpot. So jackpot could mean many different things. Obviously, it's a win. It's winning something. So you are going to be winning something. Aha! I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. There's there's something that has been bad timing for you. It hasn't been time, but now you are about to win. You're about to win something. Obviously, it's time. It's time for you to win, right? So, let's get one of these. What do we have for Aquarius? Overall energy, please. Overall energy for Aquarius. The time is now. I just saw 888. So the time is now. The time is now. Right now. Interesting. Mm -mm. Woo. This is the hanged one. This is the hanged man. But obviously we have a time of incubation. And this is a card of timing. Because you don't give birth until it's until it's ready, until it's and, until it, you know it's time. So the, definitely, uh, there's there's waiting. It's, it's a time of waiting. You've been waiting. You have been waiting. But I feel like your waiting is just about. It's almost time. It's, it is. It's really it literally um, birth. Birth. It's you're about to give birth. Somebody in this. I mean, you know, when we talk about birth, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be a physical birth. You, you know, and I don't need the empress. It looks like there's. Uh, it's a time of gestation for you. You're going through a period of renewal as of, by the looks of things. You are about to embark on a new life. I feel like this, this time that you have been going through has served you well. Maybe you needed to go through this um, period of incubation or enlightenment to get ready for whatever is coming. Because whatever is coming is, is going to be a blessing. It is absolutely going to be a blessing to you. Um, it's going to be a big responsibility as well. So what do we have for Aquarius? What do we have for Aquarius? First card out is the Four of Pentacles. Knight of Wands. Death reversed. The Star card reversed, which is your energy. But it's that's like, that is bad timing. <laughs> the Sun reversed. The Ten of Swords reverse. So there's some. It, it's interesting 
because the death is reversed and the sun and, and the ten of swords reversed. So something isn't over yet. You may have thought it was over. It's not over yet. Your waiting period. There's a delay. There has been a delay. Strength card reversed. There's a delay in you getting what you've been asking for. We get the three of wands reversed. The emperor reversed. The three of wands is upright actually. And the Queen of Wands reversed. There is a higher power involved. What you don't see coming is, uh, this is what you don't see coming. This is faith. It is a commitment. Maybe there's a new commitment that is coming. There's a higher power that is guiding you. You could also have a Taurus that is coming into your life. Does it have to be? Whatever this is, it is a commitment. Um, you're going to be getting into some sort of commitment. Could even have to do with marriage. But... This is God, it's a higher power, it's a channeler, it's somebody that, maybe you're increasing your spirituality right now, or you're dealing with somebody that is, is uh, very spiritual, very connected to a higher power, that could also be your energy. What you don't see coming is that there is, what you don't see is that there is a higher power that is guiding you, okay? I think in the past, in the past we had the Four of Pentacles, that is the stability, it's security, it is <clears throat> holding on to something that is safe, holding on to something that is stable and secure, but I feel like you're, you're moving, I feel like you're, you're moving out of that, I feel like you've been, uh, there's definitely been a delay, there's been some stagnation in you getting what you asked for, and you may be feeling doubtful that you're ever gonna get it, and I, and I feel like that is doubtful. I think you're you're at a place where you may be losing faith, have faith, the, the Hierophant is a card of faith, and believe, believe, because don't give up, don't give up on whatever it is that you've been asking for, because you're about to win. I feel like there is somebody coming towards you that is is uh, has a plan it's not i don't even know if this person does have a plan um the knight of wands is very spur of the moment fierce something somebody fierce and maybe that's you maybe maybe you have become fierce maybe you have um become a stronger maybe this is why there's been a delay because you had to find your inner strength and your determination and your willpower to uh, deal with some sort of ending in your life. Maybe you needed to heal. Be that. Maybe you still had some healing to do before you were going to get exactly what you asked for. That's why the hangman is here. That timing, timing, timing. There was a lack of healing. I think that maybe you got, some of you were holding on to a dead end. I'm just being honest. You know, you were, may have been reluctant to step forward. I feel like there's definitely a lack of healing here. We have the strength reversed, the star reversed, and the sun reversed. It's like dark. It's dark. You've been in a period. Maybe it's like a dark night of the soul moment where you needed to do some soul searching. Um, and you need to re needed to re-identify yourself and heal from some sort of painful separation that brought you to your knees. Or that just about killed you. You know, it, it was like a near-death experience. So anyway, I feel like it, I feel like there's going to be some action that is taken this week. I think that you are not prepared for it. I feel like you've you've needed to get prepared. Maybe you are prepared. Maybe now you're prepared. You weren't prepared before. This is your you know getting prepared. It is in the recent past. So I feel like you have been waiting. You've been hoping and praying. You've been hoping and praying for for something to come, or hoping to, and praying for somebody to make a decision, or you've been hoping and praying to get to a better place. I feel like um, things have been out of your control. Maybe things have been a little chaotic in your life. You know, you've been focusing on your work, you've been focusing on your money, you've been focusing on your job, hoping and praying for something more. And it's, it's like, why isn't this coming? I'm working so hard. You know, I'm working so hard. Why is this? Why? Maybe there, it's just been bad timing because you know, the universe works or God works in mysterious ways. They they aren't going to bring you something solid, stable and real and that unless you're ready for it. And I feel like I feel like it's it's time. I feel like it's time for you to win whatever it is that you've been asking for. It's coming. It's right in front of you. I feel like you've also been dealing with somebody somebody that you've been waiting for to make a move. I feel like this person is about to make a move. I feel like this person that you've been dealing with may have been 
um, having their own self doubts. They may have not felt adequate. They may have been dealing with another person that was holding them back. You know, this person, maybe they were, there was some sort of abuse. There is some sort of neglect or there's some sort of control. I feel like we have somebody here. It, could, it feels like we have a strong fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Maybe this person has been controlling an outcome. You know, they've been forcing somebody to stay or because the, we have the Emperor reverse and the Queen of Wands reversed. You know, the Queen of Wands and the Emperor are both uh, very competitive, uh, could be even angry energy, uh, manipulative, controlling. I, I feel like you've been dealing with somebody that uh, has been reluctant. This person has been reluctant to get engaged because of another person. Maybe they were dealing with another person that because the Queen of Wands can represent another woman, even another man with the Emperor right next to it. This person may have been dealing with another woman or another man that was restricting them from opening up, especially if you're single. If you're single and you've been waiting for some sort of something to come to fruition with somebody and this person has not been focused i feel like there's going to be a change i do feel like there's going to be a change get prepared because something that you have been asking for that is right it's right here it's right 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 here with this three of wands that's a definite decision being made um There is somebody here that is very controlling, that doesn't respect others. And, and I don't know if you have been holding on to this person. I mean, the Four of Pentacles is obsession, resisting change. I, and I feel like, and, and then with all these cards, I mean, the Strength card reversed and the Emperor reversed. That's, that's like dealing with somebody that doesn't respect others. This is somebody that is corrupt, that is inexperienced that likes to control others that may be in a position of authority or they may be in a top position that they shouldn't be in so that's pretty interesting um i see a lot of doubts here you know i think that you're really really doubting you're doubting that you're gonna get your wish fulfillment i feel like whoever you're dealing with is being controlled they're being and, and it could be mind control or it could just be manipulation you know they, they you know i feel like you're, whoever you're dealing with is being manipulated they're being manipulated by somebody and they don't have the strength or the courage to let go. There's a lack of letting go. There's also fear here with the, with the Queen of Wands reversed and the Strength card reversed. There's fear. There's fear. There's fear. Somebody is very, very scared. They're very scared of... of going in a new direction. But I feel, I feel like you have wish fulfillment right around the corner. You need to be patient. It's almost time. It's almost time. Some of you are obsessed with somebody that does not respect you. This person is, uh, not a very experienced. They may be dark. They, it's either a Leo Aries. I feel like it's a Leo Aries Sagittarius. This person uh, is not healthy. They're not healthy. They're not. You're dealing with somebody that is not healthy. They're forceful. It could even be a narcissist. I feel like you need to uh, Focus on the future. Don't let this person hold you back. There's somebody that is holding you back. They're holding you back from happiness. Somebody is holding you back from happiness. It's somebody that is very, very highly competitive and forceful, controlling.
It's almost like they've stole, they've depleted your energy in some way. And it feels like you've been focusing on the wrong one. That's why your soulmate is not who you think it is. You wouldn't need to focus on the future. Don't, don't let yourself be controlled by somebody that is very melodramatic. There's somebody here that is melodramatic. They're controlling. They're forceful. And I feel like this week, you know, this, this is like a the death card and the ten of swords, even upright or reverse. It's like a disaster. It's like, I don't know if you're going to, you're, you're, you, this is unhappy. Very, very unhappy. The sun card reversed. It's la it's it's loneliness due to disillusionment. Somebody is is uh, I don't know if you're dealing with somebody that is pursuing somebody else, you know, and you're refusing to see it. Hanging on, hanging on to this dead end, and it's over. But and it's but it's not over because you're you're not choosing to let it be over. You know, it's over. I can see with the Ten of Swords and the ten, and the Death card. That's the death of a situation. But there's like some sort of weakness here. I'm too weak to let go. The Strength card's about letting go. You would need to find your... And I feel like you're strong. I do because of the... And I think that you're growing the strength, okay? But I feel like it's really hard to let go of somebody that is abusive, especially if you're dealing with a narcissist, male or female. It could definitely be a male or female here that controls you with their drama, you know, their antics, their hysteria, hysteria, you know, they throw hysterical fits, you know. I do feel like there's another woman or another man here and I feel like you may be ignoring it, you know, and you're just like, you know what, I'm going to I'm going to continue to hold on to this because of delusionment. There is some sort of delusionment here with the sun card reversed. That is, that is false impressions. It is loneliness due to disillusionment. I think that there's poor logic. You're dealing with somebody that is very, very unhealthy. Could be even be a Pisces. But that hangman, that's a Pisces. So I'm not sure if you're dealing with a Pisces, but it could be. Um, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have Scorpio here. Could be another Air Aquarius. What I see most is Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Okay, we also have Scorpio and Pisces. Um, but I feel like I feel like you need to find your strength, you need to find your willpower to uh break free. Whoever you're dealing with may do something, you know, drastic that really breaks your heart. And I, I just gotta be honest with you, because the sun is a card of heart, it's reversed, and then the ten of swords, that is as low as you can go. This is the straw that breaks the camel's back. Somebody may be uh, departing with that three of wands. It's like a definite. They may be choosing. They may be choose. Maybe they've made their choice. The threes are a definite decision. You could be dealing with somebody that is choosing somebody else, and it's and it's it's heartbreaking or something like that, and you have to accept it. Um, why is this happening? The star card reversed. That is that is. Uh, why is this happening? Depleted. I feel like you you are needing to uh, let go with the fear card of something that you have been, or it's a person. You need to let go of a person that does not respect you, does not respect others. This person, I feel like you're dealing with a narcissist here. It could be a boss, could be a father, could be a woman, could be a man. doesn't matter who it is. Somebody that... Uh, deserts you in the time of need they don't help you they don't support you they've betrayed you over and over and over again could be a mother could be a father this is somebody that is weak they are sick they're sick they're ill there's definitely some sort of illness here it could be even a mental illness with a ten of swords right in the middle There's definitely some depression here. Misery loves company. It feels like you're dealing with somebody that is extremely miserable and you need to take action right now. You need to take action. Maybe it's time for you to go. Maybe it's time for you to move, okay? We got the Knight of Wands uh, mirroring the Three of Wands. That is to act now, think later, you know? Maybe it's it's time for you to leave this dead end in the past. Anyway, I feel like you're gonna you're gonna be dealing. It's almost like I'm depleted. I don't feel good. You know, this isn't this isn't healthy. 
The emperor reversed is definitely some sort of narcissistic energy. There could be, you could be even dealing with somebody that is doing something illegal. You know, they're on the wrong side of the law. They don't care who they hurt and, and, uh, you know, it's hurting you. This person may even have some serious addictions, obsessions, you know, may have something to do with money. Star card reverse. That is, it's lack of faith. I feel like I feel like you've been waiting for happiness, but you're still holding on to a narcissist. There's still some healing that is needed, and you need to realize that your soulmate is not who you think it is. There's another woman or another man here, and there's denial. Right? I mean, that's what it is. You may not be, be being honest with yourself with the sun card. You know, it's like you're waiting for somebody that hurts you over and over and over and over again. It's, it's like, this could even be like mental abuse. You're waiting for them to what? You're waiting for them to leave? You're waiting for them to uh, come back? You need to take action, right? You need to take action. Act now, think later. You know, I feel like there's, you, you, for some of you, you, you're held back by your own fear. It's like you have an exciting opportunity. You do. There's a lot of fear here, a lot. It's like you're you're held back by your own fear. Maybe it's your own fear of being alone or something like that. Or maybe it's your own fear of commitment. This does have to do with a commitment with that hero font card. It does have to do with commitment. Marriage. This could have to do with a breakup with the sun card reverse. You know, getting out of a marriage, being alone. Or it has to do with getting married. Or being in a commitment. So I feel like this week there's, there's some sort of need to uh, continue healing. Obviously healing is needed. You may even feel like you're suffocating, you know? This is like a, it's, it's a very overpowering energy. Somebody's overpowering your energy. They really are. The, the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Wands reverse, the Emperor reverse, the Sun reverse, the Strength reverse. This is like an absence of happiness, draining energy. Somebody is draining you from getting your wish fulfillment it's because you're focusing on them you need to decide to focus on your future and accept the truth be honest with yourself i feel like for some of you you need to know your value the, i mean the queen of wands in reverse if that's you taking on that energy that's somebody with low confidence low self-esteem hold your head up high be proud of who you are do not let yourself be manipulated by a narcissist You need to you need to believe in yourself. Some of you may be getting depressed. I definitely see depression here. Depressed over, you know, a departure, you know, or depressed because whoever it is that you're waiting for isn't coming back, you know, or they've chosen somebody else and you're in denial of it. Your soulmate is not who you think it is. You, you you have to be open to what the universe is going to bring you and you need to be open to change. Anyhow, I feel like this week um, you're going to be uh, dealing with a narcissist that is really going to try to control you. Misery loves company. Two of Swords reverse. That is becoming clear. It's it's uh, coming out of denial. 
seeing the truth after blocking the truth you are gonna that's the that's it right there you're gonna end up seeing the truth is there something some sort of truth is gonna come out either could even be some crime that is exposed or something that has been hidden or that you've been ignoring is gonna come to the surface you're can't not gonna it's gonna be so upsetting that you are forced to see it let's talk about your person Let's talk about your person really quick. Let's get some cards for your person. Page of Swords reversed. Page of Pentacles reversed. Hermit Judgment reversed. Somebody is is uh, not telling you the truth. They're not telling you the truth. They're lying to you. This person is guilty. They're guilty. They are not very awakened. They are unstable they're not really interested in putting in effort this person is pretty much a loner um this is an enemy maybe an enemy disguised as a friend pages swords reverse bad news news that you don't want to hear whoever you're dealing with is going through a period of enlightenment they are going through an awakening but they aren't awake yet Okay, the hermit is an awakening, the judgment is an awakening, but judgment is reversed. This person is not awake yet. They are going through an awakening. They're not interested in commitment. They're not interested in being honest and telling the truth. This person is, uh, breaks the law, breaks the rules, doesn't follow any rules, and isn't planning on it. This person may choose, may end up growing old alone because they don't want commitment. That's your person. They're not really committed. They're not. The page of pentacles reverses is a dead end. Not interested. Not interested in going down that path. Liar. Page of lies a lot. Next to the judgment reverse. You're dealing with somebody that lies a lot. Okay. They'd rather be alone. They'd rather play. They'd rather, this, the Page of Pentacles, reverse player. They'd rather play. They also, I feel like whoever you're dealing with does, is, may even have some mental health issues. And I think that you've been in denial about it. You're, some of you are definitely dealing with a narcissist that you need to find your courage and your confidence and your strength to break free from this narcissist don't wait on a narcissist that has stolen your self-esteem and your self-confidence and your self-value I think you're going to be dealing with some drama this week as well because you you may not see it this this person may have another person this person could come rushing in and cause you some problems anyhow I feel like it is going to be a week where you get enlightened you get enlightened by the who 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 it is that you are really dealing with. Good luck. I do feel like who is this is like a stab right in the back. It's like you're this is an ultimate betrayal with this ten of swords. It really is. This is a this is a mental or physical collapse, right? It is. There's also something coming back from the dead here. There could be somebody that abandoned you, that neglected you, that is coming back around, you know, that wants you to give them another chance. Be careful. Good luck. <laughs>